Hi, I'm Howard from Crazy Tech, and today I'm going to talk about radioactivity, uranium, that may have gotten to, into the Detroit River, Detroit water supply. I have a Geiger counter, and it's a very sensitive Geiger counter with an earphone. I'm going to test our water a little bit later on. But first I'm going to talk about the article that came out in the Detroit Free Press and the Detroit News about a, the collapse of a uranium contaminated site in the Detroit River. And this is pretty serious. And this is the article in the background from the Detroit Free Press. Turns out that it turns out that in World War II the Manhattan Project was responsible for creating the atomic bomb. And some of the components for the bomb were made in Detroit using uranium rods. They had a plant near the Detroit River where they, after about 70 or 80 years, this plant started, or the storage area started to disintegrate and rust. Even though the uranium contaminated site collapsed on November 26th before Thanksgiving, we didn't find out about it until Thursday. And, and this is an overview of the area where the uranium rods were stored and where it collapsed in, into the Detroit River. This property where, where they made the uranium rods for the first atomic bomb is right at the river. Detroit has a water processing plant where the inlets are coming from two different spots. and one inlet is north of where the contamination got into the river and the other inlet is south of the contamination that got into the river. According to the water department they tested the river and they say that no radiation has gotten into the river. But I'm here today because I'm going to be testing our water from under our sink with my Geiger counter. <laughs> and there, This is a model RM60 Geiger counter from Aware Electronics and it's a uh, highly sensitive and it's got a little earphone and we'll put it up to the camera when I test my water under the sink. It turns out that if you have a water filter that has a carbon filter under your sink, it turns out that carbon will remove radioactivity from the water because it absorbs radioactivity. And so if there is any radioactivity in our water, and I have a water filter under the sink, the radioactivity will be stored in the water filter cartridge and I'll be able to detect it. There is background radiation, so you'll hear the clicks from the background radiation as I take this sensor and put it up to our water filter under the sink. We'll see if we can get any radioactivity. But they're saying that it's safe, so I just want to double check. This Geiger counter was a $150. It's from Aware Electronics and I bought it to test radon. I plug this into a computer, take your computer down your basement, that's generally where radon collects, and leave the computer there for a few hours and, and come back and see what the levels are. Okay, here's my water filter under the sink. The first cartridge from the water supply is a ceramic cartridge for bacteria. The second one is uh, called a KDFGAC. It's made of copper, zinc, and carbon. The carbon filter blocks radioactivity. And there's my Geiger counter. And this cartridge here where the sensor is pointing it has the carbon filter. And there is some background radiation, but I'm not detecting any, any source of radioactivity besides background radiation from this filter. And those clicks are just background radiation. So if you like crazy tech, please subscribe. The subscribe button is right over there.